Hello. In this recording, I am going to show you how to use adjustment layers in Photoshop. Now, the way you use adjustment layers, layers is you have to you have to be able to um, have an image. Now, this image, I'm not very happy with it because um, it looks like some of the color right here is washed out. I've got a UFO up here in the corner, and but you know, it's not that good of a picture. It's just a you know dorky kid making a face at the camera. But I, I want to do some things in it to maybe make it a little more interesting. But the, before I do anything, I want to be able to adjust its uh, color. Now, up until now, I've had you go to the image and go to adjustment and then adjust right here in brightness in exposure, brightness contrast, one of these things. You should use exposure instead of brightness contrast. Exposure or hue saturation instead of brightness contrast, just so you know. But um, we're not going to do that because when you do that, it actually changes the pixels of your image. Um, before we do anything, first of all, I want to duplicate the layer. So I just hit Control J uh, on, on the Windows machine here to change that. And then I'm going to just hide the background layer. Now, an adjustment layer allows you to change exposure, do a lot of the same things you can do up here in image um, and layer. Except when you do it, it it doesn't change the original pixels, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to click right here on adjustment layers, and I'm going to choose one of these things. I'm going to choose exposure, just like I could have chosen from up here. I could have gone to image adjustments and gone to exposure, but instead it creates what's called an adjustment layer. Notice how when I when I clicked on this and chose exposure, it uh, created an adjustment layer called exposure, and then look up here. It gives me the same controls that would have happened in that dialog box that uh, I would have used over here using that image command right here. But this time it's in a layer. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn up the exposure a little bit. Uh, I'm not too happy. I want to get rid of this. Uh, I want to make it so I can see his head a little bit. This is something you should probably do in camera raw, but um, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to turn up the gamma a little bit. And these are kind of things you have to play with to get to know how they do, how they work. And I'm not still not completely satisfied with that. So I'm going to um, do one more adjustment layer. And I'm going to work with the um, levels right here. And notice I right here in this uh, histogram of the image, uh, the, this area is washed out. So I'm going to move the white down here. And notice how that kind of clears things up a little bit. And I'm going to just move this over to improve the image a little bit. I, I think that looks a lot better. Now, I'm going to click right here and click right here. Here's the original image. And now I can hide and sh or show these adjustment layers. Notice if I just do one of the adjustment layers, it doesn't have the same effect as if I hide, if I show both of them. All right. Uh, I'm much more happy with this image right now. And that's all using adjustment layers. That Adjustment layers, is they're just layers that you can do the same thing with, except now it doesn't destroy, it doesn't alter any of the original pixels right here. I'm going to add one more adjustment layer. And this is going to be a gradient map. Now, if you remember from the past, uh, I showed you how to use a, um, a that, that uh, the mask, a layer, just a plain old layer mask. Well, this gradient map behaves like a layer mask in some ways, and in some ways it doesn't. Well, but I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm, I'm going to use this gradient tool right here. And notice this gradient tool it has a linear radial gradient. I'm going to use this radial gradient. And I'm going to color it from white to black. And here's my gradient map that I'm using. And if I, col if I color in here, remember black will reveal the layer underneath. White will conceal it. Now I want to hide some of this gradient map layer. Uh, so the way I'm going to do that, I, the way I'm going to see through it, I'm going to paint from white to black. And notice the part that's white, it doesn't see through, but the part that's black sees through. And you can see the gradient that I just drew. It goes, f uh, I, where I started was where it's starting with white, and where I ended ended up with black, in, 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 according to this gradient map. It starts right here, it ends right here. I can switch those two. I can click on this and switch the order of that by going like this. And then, <laughs> notice what that does. Uh, I'm going to go back the other way. Uh, 
uh, I could uh, see what happens if I change the color of this. What, what if I make that color red? It does this kind of thing to it, but I, I want to keep that white. Now, it's kind of an interesting effect that it would um, go from, stays black and white like on this layer, but where it's white, it's where it's white right in the middle there on this kid's face, it stays white. And where it's black, you can see through to the layer underneath. Let's hide that. Notice that the middle part, you, can, you can't see through it. But the black part, you can see through to the color underneath. This is called a gradient map. You can do it linear. Watch what happens if I do it in a linear, a linear map. Notice this part, it stays black and white like it was on the gradient map. And on this part, it's in color. If I drag the gradient line the other way, it does just the opposite. They go from corner to corner, goes from black and white up to color or doing it that way. It has a star pattern also that you can do. Look at what that does. It has the in the middle note. Now, now on the edge it's black and white. Ooh. Let me just do it right there. There we go. The black and white is still in the middle because that's where the white is. Now, when you do this, you make, have to make sure that that map, that um, color right there, I'm sorry, that the, uh, the mask, this is a mask, is right there. Now, it, I, I'm going to go back to the gradient, and I'm going to color it so the middle of them is black and white, and the edges are color, up to where the UFO is. You can see how that looks. But I'm going to turn down the opacity of this layer. So it adjusts the color of the face. If I go all the way up there, it goes, you know, it, that's what it does. So if I want him to be black and white, but everything around it be color, I could do that. If I want to go the opposite way, then I can do this. Then he's color, and everything around him is black and white. Here, let me do this. That's not doing exactly what I want. Let me go across him. There, that's what I wanted. There, now he's black and white for the most part, and everything around him is color. I can do it that way also. There we go. Just kind of an interesting way to go. If I want to, uh, yeah, let's reverse that. And let's reverse it again. There we go. Uh, so this is your assignment. I want you to choose a picture that you have of you. I want you to do, an ex uh, do adjustment layers to adjust it. And then I want you to do a gradient map to make some of it go from black and white to color. Uh, you can play around with it. Uh, you know, I, I could even go right here. Oh, sorry. I could even use the brush right here. And if I wanted this to be black and white, I could just paint over it with the, with the white. And that part of it turns like It's probably not a good object to do. I could do that with the soap here. Just paint right on there. And that turns into a black and white. Right here, I could change that yellow wall by just painting over it. And that turns it into a black and white image. Anyways, that's all I'm going to show you right now. That's your assignment. You should have, remember, duplicate your background layer and then, and then go through and create a few um, adjustment layers using this button. Turn, uh, and you'll turn it in. I'll have the instructions of how to turn it in on the sheet.